Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Seems the only way to get through these guards without blowing a hole through them is to use the rat party here in the odd machine. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to do, but let's see what exactly uh, Jomo hooked us up with here. Simsense. Gobbit's dancing. Holy crap. It is a stampede of mutant rats. No wonder Gobbit's dancing. This is like her element. <laughs> and that scared the guards away? Awesome. Well, we got to see Gobbit dance, and, uh... Yeah. That would have been uh, Indiana Jones' dad's nightmare going through that. You're about to exit Icon Tower. Oh, we're at the exit already. Nice. Well, we're able to get her out. Now, what I'm expecting to happen is when we try to make the handoff to the mercenaries, something's going to go wrong. Either Fuchi's going to track us down or the mercenaries may be working for someone else and they're going to swerve us. So we're going to have to see what exactly, how is this, this is going to get complicated. We can already tell it's been way too easy. We just need to determine what kind, how complicated and what type of complicated the situation is going to be. So, here we go. You lead Lai out of Icon Tower, taking care to ensure the public street in front of you is clear of guards. Central Hong Kong is surprisingly quiet. Almost no pedestrians are out, and only the occasional delivery van rolls by on the street in front of you. Time to make contact with the mercenaries working for Yamatetsu, and hopefully get clear of the Fuchi forces behind you. See, that right there tells me we're going to have the mercenaries on one side of us and the Fuchi forces on the other side, and we're going to have to fight our way out of a pincer attack, really. But let's see what happens here. And we also need to find out what exactly is going on with Lily. Because of that cough and everything, they may consider her an asset for some reason. Lily leans over to you. Her expression is the, of the strictest seriousness. I need that chip. <laughs> Don't know where you got it, but you have to hook me up. When all this is over, I expect a copy. Sure thing. Nilly takes note of her surroundings. We're close now, almost free from this stupid tower. I think we made a good impression so far, don't you? Yeah, that ought to teach Fuchi not to frack with me. Her hands clamp down on her mouth. Oh, crap. I, uh... Please don't tell my uncle I said that. Please. I'd never hear the end of it. Fair and... Oh, see, we got dragon lines right here. That's already a bad sign. Um, well, there's the mercenary. Commander Vergara. It looks... Okay, well, let's go ahead and cross the street then. Here's where everything starts to go wrong. Make the handoff. A large, heavily armored mercenary steps forward. He knows the high-tech assault rifle in his right hand, barrel pointed towards the ground. The man looks ready to shoot at a moment's notice. He peers down at Lily and his pupils flicker like a camera shutter. The mercenary speaks, a rumbling sound, but his mouth is covered from sight by a tall coat collar. Oh, cybernetic eyes, or magic eyes. Miss Lillian Lai? His pupils flicker again as they enlarge to examine the girl. Lieutenant Vergara. Lily moves to clap him on the side, but due to her height, ends up smacking his hip. She looks awkwardly up at him and scowls. You and yours better save me from this nightmare, Lieutenant. Am I right to assume that you're the one who will deliver me to my uncle? The mercenary's green eyes narrow. Yeah, uncle. He looks warily over his shoulder. See that right there? Things are, things are going south. We need to get a move on, Miss Lai. Somewhere safe. We're too exposed here. Are you ready? Yeah, we should be. I'll have our pilot to bring his copter around. Drek. You hear the leather grip of the assault rifle squeak as Vergara's grip tightens. With his other hand, he points past you. Not fast enough. Ah, here Oh, that is a lot of Fuchi. And that is a Sane right there. An exceptionally calm elf strides to the front of the Fuchi security forces. He's slight in build compared to the guards surrounding him, but he has an awareness about him that suggests the quick reflexes of a skilled adept. Ah, a fellow adept, eh? His voice is quiet, languid, 
It seems to command the attention of those listening. That will be far enough. He gives you a shallow bow. I am Captain Huang. My men and I are here to retrieve what you've stolen from us. As Saint Conair steps next to him, a half-eaten sub sandwich in one of her hands. Hey, kind of surprised you did manage to get out of the building. Gobbit's body goes tense. She tilts her chin upwards and sniffs the air, nose flaring. In one fluid motion, she's at your side, leaning towards you. Her narrowed eyes homed in on his sane sub. Meatball. Extra cheese. Steady there, Gobbit. As Sane tilts the sub towards you with a nod, she begins talking, but her words are difficult to make out, in no spart small part due to the sandwich stuffed inside her mouth. Mmm. Yeah. Lunch. Uh, sorry for calling in the cavalry, but you know how it is. I'm still on the clock. Captain Hoang's arm flies up and swats the sandwich from Hussein's grip. Uh-oh. It hits the ground with a muffled splat, marinara sauce puddling on the ground around it. No! I imagine that's what Gobbit's thinking. Hussein stares at the sub, her mouth frozen mid-chew, hand now clutching air. Hoang gives her a smile, but his eyes remain hard. Like you said, on the clock. Vergara steps forward. This is a public street. Last I checked, Fuchi doesn't hold any territory rights in Queensway. Do you really want to start a fight out here? Hoang arches an eyebrow. The corner of his mouth curls up in amusement. It's common knowledge that Yamatetsu's position on the Executive Council is weaker than Fuchi's. We'll pay whatever fine we accure, accrue, or acquire. A small cost to keep you from kidnapping her. He nods towards Lily, whose tiny body is almost completely hidden behind Vegara's bulky frame. What the hell are you talking about? You kidnapped Lily. We're doing the honest thing for once. We're taking her home. Ah, is that what you were told? Then I understand your confusion. You see, Miss Lillian is not from Yamatetsu. Rather, she's under the employ of Fuchi, and a company executive, no less, vice president of her division. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Isane purses her lips and nods thoughtfully. Hmm, I've got to agree there. This is some sort of program for school credit or something? Vergara cuts in, his patience thinning. Don't let this suit get to you. No, he's not lying. But he's also leaving out important details. Lillian isn't a child. She's a woman turned child. The lieutenant points an accusing finger at Hoang. By Fuchi. What do you mean by that? The corporation offered Lillian a series of leonization treatments. You may have heard of the process. It's a complex method of rejuvenating the subject and returning them to the health and fitness of a much younger person. The fountain of youth, if you will. But what these dogs didn't tell her is that she was their guinea pig for a new experimental leonization procedure. They fracked up. Look at her. The experiment made her too young. It damaged her genetic makeup. And now... I'm dying. Lily's voice is suddenly quiet and serious. Not only do I look like a teenager, their treatment gave me a host of autoimmune disorders. Lily's small figure steps out from behind Vergara. She raises her hands in a loose shrug. So, what's a girl to do? Fuchi Medical Services are no help. Said they can't cure me. But Yamatetsu here can. Truth is, Sean, that Fuchi locked me up inside my own damn penthouse. Didn't want their botched experiment getting out. A rage seizes her body, and Lily whips her head toward Hoang. But to hell with that. I want to live. I didn't spend my life in servitude to Fuchi to end in... in unbirth. Lily doubles over, her hands clutching her knees to stay upright as a deep cough racks her body. The anger fades from her face, which turns a gentle pink from the strain of coughing. She looks at you, her eyes tired, and speaks through intermittent coughs. You're not rescuing me. You're extracting me. But the mission remains the same. I need to be taken to a safe place. I need to be delivered to Yamatetsu, so she knew she wasn't heading to her uncle. Hmm. Okay. Well. Huh. <sighs> but you lied to me. How do I know you're telling me the truth now? This is true. Lillian is dying. But she's wrong about one thing. 
The calm voice of Huang cuts through the air, and the Fuchi troops behind drop their mutterings to listen. Fuchi can save her. However, Miss Lai has been fed misinformation from Yamatetsu. Lieutenant Vergara's Verar knuckles whiten as his fist clenched tight. His stare is venomous. More Fuchi lies. True. I purposely withheld details before, but only to prevent the situation from getting too bogged down with irrelevancies, though it seems I now have no choice. Captain Huang opens his arms in a harmless gesture. Lillian, Yamatetsu is not here to save you. They're here to acquire you, dissect you, learn what processes Fuchi used to make you what you are now, and steal that knowledge for themselves. We have proof of this. Our communication engineers have been tapping these Yamatetsu soldiers' comlinks. Their orders are quite clear. Vergara rounds on Lily, his voice desperate. Are you seriously going to believe this man after what Fuchi did to you? He's just biding his time. Probably has backup reinforcements on the way here now. We need to move. Now. Miss Lai, should you leave with this crew, you'll be walking to your own death. We have undeniable proof of Yamatetsu's motives behind this extraction. I'll gladly share our records with, of this with you. You deserve to know. Fuchi can help you, Miss Lai. Perhaps even reverse the process. We can't guarantee it'll reverse entirely, but perhaps a little. And at the very least, you'll be alive. Think about it. Alive, we can reinstate some of your privileges, give you some freedom back. You could live functionally again under Fuchi's care. You're valuable to us, Lillian. We would not kill you like Yamatetsu. You can't be sure their so-called proof is real. You wouldn't even find out until you were back in their possession, and by then it'd be too late. Come with us. Yamatetsu wants to help you, Lily. We'll use all our resources to figure out what they've done to you and keep you alive. With what we learned from you, we could even go on to perfect this kind of leonization. And we can use that technology to surpass Fuchi in biological sciences. There's a partial truth right there, at least. No! The sound of Lily's shrill voice rings in your ears. She stands apart from Bergara now. Her eyes dart back and forth between the lieutenant and the captain. You both suck. Wow. <laughs> Lily, what do you want to do? So we're going to have to fight. Yep. Just like I figured, we're going to have to fight both of them. Neither of these men care about me. I'm just a thing to them. Property to be fought over. Maybe neither one can help me. Maybe neither should. Or maybe it'd be better if I just died. I don't, I don't know. What do you think, Sean? I just don't know. Lily looks up at you, her eyes clouded and wet, but stubbornly refusing to cry. She looks frail. Her limbs shake, and she's covered in a light sweat. You can see the shroud of death around her. Hmm. Well. Man, this is a tough choice here. Go with Fuchi, at least they know what you're working with there. And they did have the tech to do this in the first place, so who's to say they can't figure out a way to reverse it? Fuchi's already betrayed you once, but haven't even seen what. But you haven't even seen what Yamatetsu has to offer. Even if you're being passed off from one company to another, Yamatetsu needs you alive to study you. I'm sure they'll do everything they can to keep you that way. Or neither one of these corporations deserves to get their hands on you. You're nothing but an object in their eyes. Hmm. So, I like her initial. These guys both suck. So I think we're gonna go with this. Neither one of these corporations deserves to get their hands on you. You're nothing but an object in their eyes. So to hell with them. If I've learned anything after all this, it's never trust a corporation. Both are making such pretty promises to save my life, but it's all hot air. They'll say whatever I want to hear to keep me out of the other corp's hands. For all I know, they could pop me once in the back of the head as soon as we're behind closed doors. Shove me in a freezer. Peel me apart layer by layer. She shudders. I can't take that chance. I'm already dying. I've got a weak tops. I'd rather die than let either one of these corps take me into their custody. There you go, Lily. Don't be stupid. The girl's just confused. We're taking her back to Yamatetsu. Hoang's even expression temporarily contorts into one of confusion. A moment later, it washes away into a simple frown. Miss Lai, my direct orders are to retrieve you on behalf of Fuji. By force, if necessary. Lily raises her right hand, all but one of her fingers folded down. Just try it. 
is saying, I got a file here I think you'll want to see. Oh, the one that we got from the Matrix. Asane distractedly tugs on her halfway rolled up sleeves. Yeah? What is it? A dossier with plans to blackmail you into a Fuchi exclusive work that ends in a suicide mission. She balks and her eyes bore into you. You've got her attention now. That's Drek. Tell you what, if you back out on Fuchi and help me out, I'll give you this file. Isane stands stock still. She continues to stare at you as if evaluating whether or not you can be trusted. After a brief moment, her shoulders relax. Alright, I'm in. No one plays me like that. And even if that file's full of nothing but old coupons and grocery receipts, I've got a bone to pick with Fuchi. She cracks her knuckles. Uh, they made me drop my sandwich. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, for the sandwich, instead of for the horde and for the alliance, it's for the sandwich. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Well then, might as well, uh... We got Commander Vergara right there, but I think Sean... I want to take on that uh, Adept there. Got to rock out some Kung Fu. I assume it's Kung Fu. Now, Gobbit, I'm going to need you to get some haste and find a shady spot. There you go. Okay, Sean. We will start out with a stun attack on Hoang here. Which we missed. It's okay. I, ex I actually expected that, to tell you the truth. Lightning strike. For 8 damage. Oh, yeah. He's, he's loaded. It's going to be a fun fight there. Now, we're already behind cover here with ISO, so I guess it would be in our best interest to go ahead and kill the commander here. And Ractor, let's get you back here and control Koshi. Because Koshi should have two actions. Enough to shotgun Vergara point blank, which is... There we go. And he actually might die via wounds, unless... Ah, that was worth a shot. And his Sains get into the fight now. That's good. You keep running, Lily. Keep on having our little epic duel here. Minus 2 AP, that's good. Can we make him sleep? Yes, we can. Night, night time. Now, ISO, let's take him out. That's good. And we got a gunner over here, but this guy's just out in the open, so that's probably going to be the best course of action. 20 damage. Gobbit, let's, uh... I want to summon Mr. Cheezers. Actually, we have got... We've got a Force 5 Nature Elemental. We might as well summon him. Hi there, guy. Primeval. That should take care of the gunner here, I'm thinking. And you got Mana Arc. Yeah, just go go to town punching him. Minus 2 AP. And none of us are really damaged, so let's increase Sean's aim. And with Ractor, let's pump up Koshi. And we got... Oh, we got more nastiness right there. I didn't even notice. And we have no hostile spirits as of yet. Well, let's have Koshi head over here and... 
start owning face. That's a mage down, I would assume. And we'll get Gobbit back behind this cover. Here come the reinforcements. And that healer needs to be taken down. Oh, the mercenary forces are fighting each other now, too. That's good to know. And Raptor just took a shot. This is going to be a long fight, I'm thinking. And they have a drone as well. Ooh, there he went. And Isane just killed Huang. That's nasty. But I think we're seeing everyone that we need to see. At least. Oh, didn't even see you. Never mind. And you have an axe, so that means that you are priority number one. Greetings, fellow adept. Get stunned. I found it interesting that Sean can hit anything except when they're stunned, and then it starts getting complicated. That's okay, as long as you're still asleep. Let's get... There's gonna be two actions. Yeah, might as well. See what we can do about getting that one down, getting behind cover here. Gobbit. Can we summon some acidic fog? That's probably not going to be too good for them. We'll get behind proper cover now. And what are we going to do with you, Raptor? I guess you could keep on buffing Koshi. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get you behind cover as well. It's not your business. There we go. And more reinforcements. It looks like Lily got out before they showed up, though. So at least there's that. Which means reinforcements are probably going to come from the other side as well. Nine damage. We're still good. Everything's coming up Millhouse for the most part. And if you show up, I'm okay. Al, never mind. We need Gobbit to use her uh, elemental kill ability. And he has a minigun, which is no bueno. But Isane's still giving some help, which is good. And they're all going to try and take... They're all going to try and go after Koshi, but Koshi's going to cut these guys down to burger, and you healed, unfortunately. Hmm. And here come reinforcements for the other side. Wow, this got really busy really quick. But we still need to take out this adept as quickly as possible. Okay, keep going. See, when I would do uh, games like that, that would be an automatic hit if they were stunned like that, but... He's okay. For six damage, it's getting tougher here. Okay, Rat Totem. You go away. I am so glad I have that ability. Let's cast Heal on Raptor. And man, this is this is going to be rough, guys, I'm thinking. We might as well get Raptor 
Yeah, we need to get Ractor behind some decent cover here. He's the most fragile of the group. Koshi, how about a laser? That's one down. Little by little, we will do this. And up here. And a nice shotgun blast. Point blank to take care of that one. We're not going down without a significant fight here, guys. And I don't know how long this fight's going to last, but we will see. And you missed your grenade shot, sir. Ow. That is a nasty grenade. 46 damage. Now, hopefully the this is the end of the... Uh, the end of the waves. This is the last bit of reinforcements that are coming in. Hopefully. Now this adept is still knocked out. Let's see if... Sh oh, I need to get these guys out of this... Uh, grouping. Like, as soon as possible. Tense, tense, tense. Fortunately, it looks like Gobbit's in relatively good shape. Holy crap. Man, grenaders. Okay, Sean, can we actually uh, take this adept out, please? There we go. Thank you, Sean. And... Should we go after... Yeah, let's go ahead and go after this mage. out in the open. That's that's the mage's bad, really. And we'll just do some flat-out damage. That mage got a, has a lot of defense, though. 21. And bleeding. Minus 2. So this mage is probably going to die at the end of the turn. That's good. Let's work on getting the group back to being spread out. Reload, and we need to take care of this guy who's sitting here behind us. Like, as soon as possible. Let's put some more haste on Sean. And... What to do? Well, we could go ahead and summon another fetish, like, right here in the middle of all these guys. You know what? Why not? It's what this stuff is for, right? Mana arc. Make that go to everyone. Pinball wizard. Has su such a supple wrist, as the Who would say. It's another mage down. Ractor had to use his, one of his med packs. Anyone he can shoot? And let's go with a target head shot. Or no, no, let's do accuracy. Just a, a little dabble, do ya? Now we got a ton of people over here, a ton of folk over here. Things are heating up, guys. Can I actually I need to check something here? All right, cool. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here in mid-fight, and we will see if we survive in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.